Music, music fix and sound images and experiences. We tell them on air, online, and on ground. We tell stories of the people. We tell stories for the people. We tell the stories of the university, of the community, of the nation, and even beyond. We tell what we know, what we see, what we cover, and what we discover. We tell the stories of those who can't. We tell the stories that should be told. Should be heard. And should be known. We tell stories that are true. Stories that question. Stories that transform. Ngayong gabi, malalaman natin ang resulta ng Halalan UPD 2021. Kada taon, naririnig ang mga tinig ng estudyante sa pamimili ng mga kandidato na nirerepresenta ang kanilang mga advokasya at kanilang mga minimithi sa loob at sa labas ng universidad. Lumipas na ang ilang linggo kung saan ipinahiwatig ng mga kandidato ang kanilang mga plataporma. Ngayong gabi, matutuklasan ang mga susunod na kinatawan ng student body. Bago tayo tumungo sa pag-anunsyo ng resulta ng Halalan UPD 2021, pakinggan natin ang pambungad na salita mula kay Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs, Professor Luis Josh 2022. It had been a long and challenging road towards successfully putting up the first ever remote student elections in UP Diliman. And I've spoken time and again of this long and difficult process that this has taken. And it really would not have been possible without the help of the entire community of UP, especially in the face of everything that we are confronting through incredible threats of uh, anxieties, uh, political, cultural, economic, and personal turmoils. Now, a 46% voter turnout is really no small feat. Moments like these truly are a testimony to the strength of our solidarity and compassion. Chair Froilan Cariaga, with members from the previous USEB, special shout out Professor Jarin Antonia and Professor Carl Kaluwag, uh, the three major political parties in UP Diliman and the local college councils, who worked tirelessly to review the 2010 student election code to provide the supplemental guidelines for the remote student elections. To the Office of Student Projects and Activities, April, Glenn, Mackey, Kuya Angel, RC, and of course, the Superwoman Coordinator, Professor Crizel Sikat de Laza. You know, this small uh, but power-packed team oversaw this whole process with me all the way from dialogues with the Holdover USC to the writing of the online guidelines, to calling up every single student who signed up for manual voting, to overseeing the vote count. Yan ang OSPA. Of course, to the UP Computer Center, who worked day and night to secure our voting platform, resolve technical issues, and answer voter concerns. 
hindi matatawaran ang serbisyo ng UBCC taon-taon sa halalan at lalo na ngayong nakasalalay talaga sa kanilang sipag, tiyaga at dedikasyon ang tagumpay ng halalang ito. To the University Student Electoral Board or USEB who are here with me today, who really took the time from their own classes to see this historic election through, and of course to the college secretaries and college student electoral boards as well, the CSEBs, to all of the running candidates. Win or lose, you stepped up to the plate and your readiness to serve during this time of tumult, uncertainty, and incredible challenges through all these various kinds of threats for your grit, your strength, your love for the university, and commitment to serve. I salute all of you. Of course, not only for the candidates, but for the whole university. My deepest and heart most heartfelt congratulations to all. Magandang gabi. Maraming salamat, Vice Chancellor Luje Sunido. Tumungo na tayo sa pinakaaabangan sa gabing ito, ang pag-anunsyo ng resulta ng Halalan UPD 2021. Para ibigay ang mga resulta, narito ang mga miyembro ng University Student Electoral Board. Para sa resulta ng College Representatives to the USC, narito ang student members ng University Student Electoral Board na sina Mix Rolando Lintag Jr. at Mix Maria Isabella Rivera. Now announcing the College Representatives. For the Asian Institute of Tourism, Ken Palomia with 119 votes. For the College of Fine Arts, Kate Gotti Silvio with 